Hey friends, Karen Basket DIYer here. I'm going to be showing you how I came up with this uh, wood grain cardinal peekaboo tumbler. I've personalized it here. So this will just be a quick little tutorial considering I've already shown you um, some of the basic steps in several of my other tutorials. So just stay tuned, follow along, and I will walk you through the steps and show you how I created this one. Okay, so here are the products I'm using. And guys, I thought this was really cool. I had a cardinal looking over me while I was working on this project. Here I'm just spray painting, getting really good coverage um, on my cup. And then I grabbed my glitter and poured it directly onto that fresh spray paint. I'm really loving this method. It definitely saves a step. Next, I created my design in Cricut Design Space and then just cut it out um, with my Expressions Vinyl, really love Expressions Vinyl. I'm using 631 Vinyl, which is removable. Then I applied my decal to my cup, and just pressing really firm and making sure that it's on there really great so that the spray paint here will not leak under. Just using Rust-Oleum two times white and getting really great coverage. After my spray paint's nice and dry, I'm gonna move right into my alcohol inks. I've got my chip brush, my 91% alcohol, and a little art brush. That's all that's really needed here. I'm gonna be using the Let's Resin Brown, my absolute favorite for wood grains. Um, I mentioned earlier that I have a tutorial that's strictly on my wood grain technique, so I would love for you to go check that out. It's a little bit more in-depth, step-by-step, um, so definitely check it out. I'll drop the link for you below. It'll probably be um, the featured video that shows up at the end of this video. I always seal my alcohol inks with Rust-Oleum two times clear. And then once that's dry, I can move right into my weeding process. Always be super careful when weeding that you don't scratch your wood grain or tear up your epoxy underneath. If you do happen to scratch it, it's not a super big deal. Just grab your alcohol and that little art brush and gently touch up the scratches. Within Design Space, I found this perfect little tree branch that I'm applying here. I just cut that out in black vinyl. And as you can see, I'm just placing it right over the top of my design. Just making sure there's no wrinkles and it curled under a little so I'm fixing that and as you can see right here the feet are behind the branch so I'm gonna take my Mod Podge and a little art brush and I'm just going to dot the eyeball and then apply Mod Podge right over the top of the branch because I'm gonna be dumping glitter on that to make it appear that the bird is actually sitting on the branch. I'm using this black glitter from Walmart and just applying it right there on that Mod Podge, pressing down just so that I get really great coverage. And I'm gonna allow this to completely dry, then I'll just wipe off all the excess glitter. And once that Mod Podge was nice and dry, I moved right into my next step, which was my first layer of epoxy. I used my torch to pop the bubbles. I ended up doing two coats of epoxy on this one. And here's the finished product. Oh my goodness, I think it turned out so beautiful. I really love that red against the wood grain. Um, I personalized it. I forgot to show you that part, but um, I personalized it with holographic vinyl and it just looks so amazing. I hope this sparks some new ideas in your head for peekaboo designs. I really appreciate you watching. I hope that you will like, subscribe, and ring that bell for future Tumblr tutorial notifications.